Oi, I'm Little B. Jessup. Thanks for spending some time with me to watch this video. You guys will enjoy it. In this video, I'm getting the boat trailer ready for the compact. It's a lot of work, and it's a lot of guessing. Hope you guys enjoy. So as you can see, I'm back home, and now i got to start making modifications to this trailer to fit the compact. There is quite a bit of difference in the, between the Ranger and the compact. The Ranger draws 3.75 feet, that is 45 inches. The compact draws 2.25 feet, which is 28 inches. Therefore, there's a 17 inch difference between the bottom of the keel and water line. Now, assuming that the bunks are the water line, if I take away 17 inches and lower the bunks, it should fit in theory. I spent the entire last week before moving, even moving the Ranger, I've been, I soaked each bolt in PB Blaster. They're still super rusty. So I'm going to have to replace them. Fortunately, I'm going to work tomorrow so I can just bring, or write down the size I need. I believe they're half inch, probably half inch by three. And just get a couple of them and replace all the bolts while I have it apart. Now the easiest way to remove this would probably be the impact, but look how rusty that is. There. I'll be. Oh wait, the bolt broke. That's fine too. That's good for structure. Just check out all the aluminum oxidation. It's just like white. It's rough. On this side, oh my gosh. I don't even know. That's bad. There we go, good as new. That's a bolt, I guess. Oh, those are the threads. Oh, this will be fun. So I took out the bolts along this uh, near piece of wood and this thing's actually quite flexible. Like I can lift it up and give it a nice shape like that and straighten it out and it curve and twist. The bunks can be all settled. I can straighten them out. So I think we can make this work. There is quite a bit of adjustment that can be made on this. And this. Hmm. I don't know. All right, here's something confusing. Each one of these posts. So the rears are 27 inches. The middles are 24. And the fronts are 25 inches. So uh, I guess it's accounting for the shape of the boat. To, but these are also adjustable. So that's kind of... Kind of weird to me, but whatever. Um, I don't know how much I should cut. I'm gonna think about it tomorrow. And I'm gonna order bolts, because I need a lot of bolts. Each one of these posts have four bolts. So one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna get nuts for these as well. So I can, well, I'll figure out what to do with these U-bolts. I might, I might need to move them to slide them around, but who knows? The beams are different. But yeah, that's where we're at. So with the little bit of wiggle room I have on the keel and the 14 inches I have on the bunk to the last hole, that gives me 15 inches of adjustability. All right, but these aluminum pieces are still too long, so I need to cut the I need to cut them a little shorter. And if we take into the, the account that the compact draws 28 inches and the Ranger draws 45 inches, but the highest adjustment that the Ranger had was 36. If we take the in between that and make sure we have adjustability and cut it somewhere in between there, we should in theory be fine. So I'm gonna do a little bit of math.
So what I did was I hacked off 10 inches from the base. So this is the new setup. At the very, man, that wind is something. At the very back, it's 24 right here. So from the top of the bunk to the heel rest is 24 inches. And to adjust, I've got multiple adjustments. I can slide it out this way. I can slide it in. I can raise it up. I can tilt it. So I've got plenty of adjustment. And this is on the lowest setting right now. And it's actually sitting on top of the frame instead of in front. Um, I've got new stainless steel U-bolts, new galvanized bolts going through. This is how it was. I've got the long extension, the adjuster, and the actual piece that goes on the frame. And these, I don't know who did it, but they were grade 8 bolts all the way. Grade 8 doesn't hold up to salt water. Grade 8 is strong. So that's being, it's, just because it's strong doesn't mean it's corrosion resistant. you got to get something stainless steel galvanized. Like that. So, the last time I saw this thing, I was talking about this bunk. Well, I loosened all the bolts except for this one and the one up there and right there they need to be cut they're extremely rusted and the impact won't even budge them um i had to wait because i was cutting the u-bolts all off and this last one broke my cutter disc it, it grabbed and it just exploded so i had to get some more but i've got more parts so i'm gonna get this thing apart and while running through the steps of lowering the bunk so lowering the bunks ain't too hard step one cut the bolts Step two, remove the bunk. Step three, cut the aluminum. Step four, put it back. New bolts. Let's get the cut. Bunk is removed. And the, w the way I'm doing it is I'm doing like, the same one I cut I put it back because there are different measurements so I'm just taking 10 inches off and then I put it back drill some holes in it and move on to the next one one down and now with it lined up into center I take my indexing punch it's an indexing punch because of the way it is. And I punch these holes. So since it is just aluminum, it's pretty easy to drill. Speed reload. Ah, button jam. And I also cut the adjuster shorter to fit down into the tube nice and tight like. And then just simply bolt her back together. The correct way to put a bolt in it on a boat is inboard to outboard, forward to aft. Learn it. And now just rinse and repeat two times. And with this bolt right here, I did drill the tube for it. But when I get the actual height of the compact set in the marina, I will drill this final one and lock in my um, lock it all in. But for now, one bolt will get me get me started. This is a lot of aluminum shavings. Oh my goodness! It's everywhere. So here's the trailer right now. I've got the bunks nice and lowered. Um, in the in the middle, from the level down to the where well, the keel rest is 20 inches on the lowest setting. I can still go up a foot. If we think back, the boat draws 28 inches of water. If I'm below that, I'm probably fine. If I can raise it up, I'm also probably fine. So I think I'm good. 
it's a let's say actually this is too like not low enough i can scoot these out tilt these things so they grab onto the side of the hole and we still should be fine so this should work should but only one way to find out and that's tomorrow to drop the boat on this thing so wish me luck i'm i am nervous about it i'm not gonna lie i hope it works fingers crossed good morning let's go get us a boat i'm all hooked up i've got my tools to adjust the trailer we're ready got this hour and a half drive well we made it oh no coffee sucks so i'm gonna figure out where what i should do to get this thing out of the water so here's the little guy basically i gotta de-rig the boat get ready for trailer this is super peaceful just getting the mat of the boat ready to be hauled out and it's nice got the boom down just waiting on some people to come over for the mast got you ready yep. You're holding a lot of it too right there. I hardly do it. it it's just pulling me. Alright, she's getting heavy. Mm, yeah, she is. Alright. We got him down here. Alright. You can set that down. See, that wasn't too bad, was it? No, not at all. Yeah. Let it go straight in. That looks good. A good looking boat. Directing it in expertly. Set up on the trailer. Got it all strapped down. I just moved it for the first time. Uh, out of the way. Did all right. I kicked up the rudder. She's strapped. She's bolted. She's good to go. We gotta pay, and then we'll head on home. Well, here she is. Made it home. We only held up traffic for a little while. Pretty, pretty. Be Pretty good while. Good looking little boat. Um, it's less intimidating because it's so much lower to the ground. Yes, the van is big and the boat is bigger. But it, you know, to get it off the trail, I need this much water. That comes up my hip. That's launchable. I am going to make something that attaches to the front like a winch so I can pull it up onto the trailer better. Um, kind of like, I'll show you. I'll show you an example. Similar to something on this trailer. That way you can pull it up and it's just nice and easy. That's the plan at least. I want to make this thing a trailer sailor. Make it so I can get it on and off pretty easy and just have a good time and enjoy being on the water. 
But anyway, guys, I really appreciate you watching. If you made it this far, comment below. Let me know what you think about this whole old compact and old trailer situation. Hope you guys have a great day. Yeah, the weather isn't fun right now. I gotta get this thing cleaned up before Casey sees it.